narcissists are losers. They are always unsuccessful at everything they do. They are habitually failing because they are disadvantaged. They are commonly in unfavorable circumstances, especially with regard to financial or social opportunities. They lack the basic resources or conditions to succeed. And that is what creates this loser mentality. It makes them fearful. It makes them feel as though they need to control everything in their environment. Because naturally, they would never be able to succeed. They would never be able to accomplish anything. They lack the capabilities and potential to achieve anything on their own. And that causes them to lack confidence. It causes them to not feel good about themselves. It causes them to feel powerless people who feel powerless will seek power by directing the behavior of others and the course of events. Which means that they will try to control those around them. They will try to maintain influence and authority over them. To compensate for the lack of confidence, ability and power they feel within themselves. At some point in their lives, they made a choice to be losers. They made a choice to live in fear. Everything they do is based on their fears. Their insecurities create their obsessive need for control. They can't just let things go and play out naturally. Because then that would put them at a disadvantage. Remember, they lack the capabilities and potential to achieve anything on their own. So the last thing they want is for things to play out naturally. That would inevitably lead to their downfall. So they have to do whatever they can to control their environment and the people around them. To prevent things from playing out naturally. To prevent them from losing. Losers need to control you. They need to control you because they are afraid that you might win. Which would then mean that they have lost. They have a dualistic mentality, black and white thinking, where there can only be a winner and a loser. And if you are the winner, they would have to be the loser. So they are going to do whatever it takes to control you and prevent you from winning. Which then prevents them from being the loser. What they don't consider is that their actions of trying to control you and prevent you from naturally succeeding are the typical actions of a loser. If a person believes that they have the required capabilities and potential to win, why would they waste their time trying to sabotage someone else? They're going to be more focused on their own lives, more focused on achieving great things. But narcissists are fully aware that they do not possess the capabilities and potential to be anything great. 
which is why they appear to give up on their own lives and focus on sabotaging yours instead. They believe that they have a greater chance of destroying your life than doing anything with their own. While someone who is a natural born winner is going to spend little to no time comparing themselves to others or focusing on someone else's life. They are going to be too preoccupied with their own reality, their own goals and dreams because they know that they have the capabilities and potential to succeed. They don't want to waste their time and energy on someone else because they realize just how valuable their time and energy can be when it is applied to their own lives and their own goals. They also don't see things in black and white like losers do. They don't believe that there has to be a loser for there to be a winner. They believe that everyone can win together because they have an abundant mindset. They focus on the limitless opportunities that are available in life. They choose to focus on the positive things in life rather than the negative things. Because they believe that there is plenty to go around. There is enough for everyone. Losers have a scarcity mindset. They believe that there is a limited availability and not enough to go around. And that is what creates their need for control. In their minds, they have to take control of what little supply or resources there are in their environment to prevent them from not having enough of something. And that is why they will often target winners. They will target people who are successful or people who are likely to be successful. People who are likely to achieve a desired objective or resolved by effort, skill or courage. They target winners because they believe that they are taking away the limited supply or resources. Losers have a scarcity mindset and they see everything in black and white. They constantly compare themselves to people and believe that if someone else is winning, they must be losing. So they will go out their way to target winners and bring them down to their level or even put them beneath them. To create the illusion that they are not winning anymore. Because they are envious. They want what you have. They want to be who you are. But they know they don't have the capabilities or potential to be anything great. So they have to cheat. They have to act dishonestly or unfairly in order to gain an advantage over you. Because they already know that they're not going to win by playing fair. They already know that they're not good enough to compete with you. Losers feel threatened by real winners. And they will habitually seek to harm or intimidate them. Because in the loser's mind, it is an attack on their character. It is an act of criticism or opposition. So they see nothing wrong in hurting or harming you 
in return for the perceived injury that they have suffered at your hands. This can often result in stalking and harassment, flying monkeys and smear campaigns, gang stalking, They develop an obsession with their targets. They will do whatever it takes to prevent them from winning. Because they have a scarcity mindset and black and white thinking. They believe that they can only be a winner and a loser. And that you are a threat to the limited supply or resources. It may often appear as though all they are trying to do is win. But this game or competition never ends because they can never win. A person with a loser's mentality will never win. They spend their entire lives trying not to lose. and every action and behavior will demonstrate that they are trying not to lose. They live in fear. They live in a way where they cannot let anything go. They always have to control people and the environment. Because they are trying not to lose. And whenever they see someone who is winning or someone who is likely to succeed, they have to interfere with their natural flow of success. Not because they are trying to win, but because they are trying not to lose. They are trying not to be seen as losers when every action and behavior demonstrates what they are. You could not argue or resolve anything with a loser. If you do, you will only sink down to their level. And when you go down to their level, you lose all of that energy you had, which you could have used to create something great. Losers are harsh and they will often set you back in life. They will often bring you down to a level where you can't be your best self. But just be grateful that it's them and not you. Be grateful that you get to be the winner rather than the one who's trying to stop someone from winning. And understand that you really only have one choice. Leave these losers where they belong. Leave them to continue with their behaviours of trying not to lose for the rest of their lives. And continue being the winner that you are always destined to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at marksfrovercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.